Jeff from Chillin' and Grillin' with Jeff here. A little while ago, we met up with Sal the Chef Machine. We had a great time. He cooked up everything. One of the amazing things that evening was the charcuterie board. He had prosciutto and capicol that he cures himself right here every year. He invited us back to take a look at how he does it. Let's pop in and say hi. So when we were last here, you put out some great charcuterie. You mentioned you made it, of course, yourself, like you do everything. And you invited us back to show us the process right from the beginning. So what are we going to do today? Well, I'll let you try that time. Uh, you and uh, the audience was, uh, you know, the capicolo, what I make, uh, the big prosciutto. Uh, they are two different types. One is more lean, one got more the marble, the fat. But uh, today, what are we going to do? show you from the scratch well, from the start until we got ready to eat okay and this is going to be enough for what one meal one charcuterie board? um yes yes one enough for one enough <laughs> one yeah and yeah, half yeah. Board, i don't know i don't know it's enough meat but it's okay it's all good and what cut what cut are we going to use for the capicol uh, so this is from the shoulder okay uh, so uh, this is uh, the pork the leg so it's uh, this is a more lean meat where this uh, got a little more marble Fit on. Okay. okay. So what do we got to do today from scratch? I got to show you how I got to trim them up around and make nice tomorrow around the piece. Okay. Okay. And then we put them in salt and then we got to cure a little bit at a time. Today we're going to use cured salt for this type of meat, for this type of procedure. So okay. Let's do it. So let's talk about trimming these up. Yeah, we can start. Okay. See, so I show you, you see this piece, it's a kind of loose. So it's better you trim them up because it will be west. When you cure, you see, it comes nice, nice and neat. Then in the edge, always you make a nice straight corners. Okay, then you flip them over and you check. If you got any pieces that are loose, it's better just to, to and, clean. And why do we want to take the loose pieces off? Because when you cure, with the time, with the two months be hanging, they're going to be dry. Okay. You see, you take off all of those little pieces and lock now the piece. You see how it's a nice, nice round them up. How much fat do we want to leave on? Uh, okay, all of these, it's a kind of fat, but inside, it's, oh, look at this. You see the, all of this marble? It's yep. inside of the meat. Okay. That's why when you slice, it's a very moist, very, so, yeah. so compared to one like this, where there's quite a bit of fat on the outside, okay. are you, you going to trim that fat off? Okay. Uh, I, can, I can clean them up a little bit, these at the edge. Okay. See, I, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Because this is basically the outside. So I can take off these. This is like a lard. And when I make the super sata, I show you when we make, I grind them up with this. Okay. So it's a good for the super sata. But look at this. See, you trim them up, look, a nice piece of meat, and we no waste nothing. Nothing. See? Just to check them up and make sure like everything is nice. No, nothing is loose. Look at this. Nothing hanging yeah, on. Yeah, nothing hanging on. Okay, see? Look at this. The beauty of a two star. A delicious capicolo. Mwah. All right. Well, we got a lot of trimming to do. Yes. So we're going to do all these first, and then we're going to trim up for the prosciutto. Yes. Okay. So that's our capicolo, and this is the leg. We're going to do some prosciutto from here. Yes. Yes. It looks like we're going to have a lot more trimming on this. Okay. See, this is all one big piece. So what we got to do, we cut them, open up. See? Look at this. Okay. Okay. So you're not just going to salt and season the leg and hang the leg? No. You're, no. you're doing it a little bit different. If you do like this, um, what happened, because it's all open, too much air go inside, so we'll, uh, we'll be spoiled the meat. Okay. But when I trim like this, now I show you a nice... See, look at this. Look at the nice big piece of prosciutto. Now the only thing I gotta do, trim just a little bit, and this will be a nice big piece of prosciutto. So without the bone, no bone no, in No bone, gonna... no bone. No bone. Because this will cure in three months of time, this is secured. But if you do as a bone with a full leg, six, seven months or a year before it's secured. Yeah. Where this is a more quick process, procedure, and then you can slice them up nice. Okay. Like so what are we going to trim? The loose ends yeah. off of just, this one just, as well? Just to, yeah. Just the little piece of loose. We leave it the skin. Always you leave it the, the skin outside. And same thing. We're going to use this to make something different. Okay. Yes. See? 
This is now, it's a bit, it's a one piece. Okay. All right, now you see it, yeah. No, oh, you see? Look at the nice big piece of prosciutto. And why do we leave the skin on? Uh, the skin on, uh, uh, hold the piece together. Okay. Uh, if he, see, if you take off the skin, everything comes apart. All right. But with the skin, hold all of the pizza together. Okay, and will, oh. we, will we butcher this one further oh, as well? Of course, of course. See, look, I put these right over here. Look at that. Yep. So okay. you mentioned you use some to make a soppressetto? And, and so, so yeah, so make those. And what is that? Uh, that is uh, uh, ground beef, ground meat. I grind them up, I got them on a machine, and then you put a spice, and you can make it very hot, you can make it mild, uh, and you cure. You so cure. A, a type of sausage, a type yeah. of cured meat. Yeah, yeah. salami. Uh, like the, the, the salami? Same, yeah. Okay. The same that way you buy the salami. But look, look at the nice piece over here. Uh, just to these, like, got to trim them up a little bit. So we're going to oh. make, make a little tiny prosciutto? Uh, yes, I can, oh, I can cure that one. But this, that one, see this piece here, this, it's a nice little, so nice lean meat. Yeah. I can cure this maybe in a month, a little over a month, but then it's ready, just to slice them up. Oh, flavor. See? See, this is the father, that's the son, that's the grandson. Okay. <laughs> so I got, them, I got them all. Okay. You see? That's a nice, nice big piece of prosciutto. Yeah. Look at this. So now what I'm going to show you, how I dress them up with the salt. Okay. I gotta put them in the salt. All right, yeah. let's clean up and All do right. that. All right. Perfect. So what's the difference between this and regular salt? Okay. It's a cured salt. It is it's a, to keep the meat more red, more nacho. If you use a homemade salt, the meat turn more brown, more dark. Okay. Where it is, it will keep nice red, nice right. red, more nacho. I just don't, basically, and what's the salt doing exactly? It's uh, what the salt does is preserve. Uh, anything can meet a uh, long, long time ago, then away the fridge. So what they used to do, put everything in the salt, so that way they pro, uh, you know, to preserve, to okay. preserve. So you're not, you're not putting as much as I thought, but. No, 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 can, can, cannot put it that much because uh, this will be, stay two, three days in this salt here. Right. So every, every day, see, produce a little bit of juice. There's a meat here. So what you do every day, you just turn them around. Okay. So now that we have these salted, where, where do we store them? A certain temperature? Okay. For? This is a type of meat. Any meat, uh, you cannot put them in the hot, in the warmer temperature. Got to be in the cold temperature. Right. So uh, right now, because we are in December, uh, fruit cellar is the best uh, ideal place where you can storage uh, because it's a nice cold. Perfect. To dry them up. All right. Okay. Good. Well, Sal, we were here, what, three days ago? Yes. This was is. covered in pork shoulders and legs and everything. What, so where are we at? What's next? Okay. But uh, three days ago, we did, uh, we trim them up at the meat to take off all of the little pieces kind of hanging around. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we put them in the salt. So what are we going to do today? We're going to put them in the white vinegar see i got a container with the white vinegar so look it's a, all of this container full with just white vinegar so basically you give a nice little wash okay so take off a part of the salt but still it's there i get the flavor of the vinegar okay you see look beautiful see all right. okay so now i show you how we do it look Look, look at the nice, beautiful yeah, meat. Yeah, beautiful color here. For oh, sure, oh my right? gosh. And that's the salt oh, that you got. Yes, yeah. the salt to keep it this way. Keep it nice, uh, fresh. You, we got to try it in two and a half months of time. That's These, how long it's going to take, two and a half months? Which yes. it doesn't seem like enough time, but... Uh, but but yeah. it's, uh, you know, uh, with the vent, with the nice air, fresh air, you know, they dry very, very good. So this is the one, the, the step for the vinegar. All right. And now we have another little procedure. Give it just a little dry up because it's too much the, the vinegar. Just, okay. Just a little dry up. We dry them, put it back in that container. Yes, we put it back in the container and then we got uh, this procedure to do. Look how a main spice we got here. That's now, where it's gonna go. Are you gonna share with us what's in there or that's uh, Chef Sal's secret? Uh, no, no, no. I will share it with everybody because I know him the person to keep the recipe for myself. 
I like to share the recipe. So you know, I don't want to touch it with the hand. I don't think too many people they want to touch it with the right, hand. Right, right. There's looks like there's lots going on in there. Yes. What are we going to do now? You see a nice piece of the capecollo. So this is a spice. I prepare this. It's hot pepper, black pepper, a paprika. So what this does, um, give a flavor to the meat um, when the cure. It also protect the bacteria, like uh, to spoil the, the meat. I know vinegar and salt is good. That's one of the most important, but this prevent for bacteria go to the meat. So what you do, you just kind of nice, um, fill them up nice all the way around the side. See? And now look at this. You see the beautiful, and that's the flavor penetrated in the meat. That's why it's gonna be nice a flavor. And when you say hot pepper, do you mean uh, red uh, chili flakes? Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Yeah. Okay. Cayenne pepper. Hot pepper, that's what it is, yes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do the same to the prosciutto. Uh, prosciutto, we do the same procedure. It's just to the, qual the quality of the meat. One it's more lean, and one got a more little fat around, the more marble. And when you say it'll be ready in two and a half months, but it can last a lot longer, is it gonna keep curing past that two and a half months, or in two and a half months it'll just kinda of stay at that point? Okay, uh, everything depends on the way you like when you slice them up. If you can hang them for three months, but they will become dry. Okay. Doesn't come a nice uh, moist when you eat, like a nice uh, flavor. Right. Okay. You can keep it much longer, but then it dries up, Okay. It dries up. It's like anything in life, like you got a certain time to be, to be cured, you know. Uh, it's the same if you cook um, a roast beef. Uh, yes, you can keep it much longer, but then it dries up inside. Right, okay, you know? perfect. And then how are we gonna store it? We're just gonna leave them like this? Just leave okay. them in the top? No, no, just a moment, we have another procedure. All right. Okay, okay. so what do, we, what do we gotta do? I can explain it to you. I get the capicolo, and you, see these, they are already tight them up. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. Uh, yes, I hold the capicolo. You yeah. just to open up like this, okay? Yeah. So first we put them in the penny holes. Right. Then I grab them, I shake them up, and you with a piece of this, you make the nut. You tie them up, okay? okay. After we do in the penny holes, we gonna try to put inside this net, yeah. net yeah. basically. Right. Uh, then we gotta squeeze them. See, it's a kind of a little hard, but we gonna make it to bring okay. them inside. Open there up. There you go. Okay, good. All right. When they're ready. So okay. this is going in a pair of... Pair of, uh, right. I don't know what do you want to call it, but you can call it. You can say the name. There, See all of the spices, yep. they are all inside. Okay. Looks uh, like you know what you're doing. How's that? I think both of you. Now, from this one here, we got this special net. It's a little tough to put them in, but to always you find the way. You so the nylon actually helps this shrink keep it down a bit as well, yeah. Keep the meat very, very tight. You see how tight it is? Yeah. Okay. But look at this. Yeah, it worked. I was I was a little bit suspect there. That's uh, That doesn't add up, but I guess it's it good that I can it stretches to it. give a nice spank so that way the meat, huh? see, look at the meat, how come a nice, uh, yeah. nice round. How are you going to tie one, one of the longer ones? Right off away, yeah. Okay, All so, right. so this is done. So what you're gonna do, in the end, you make just a little nut. And here we go. The first capicollo for a 2023 season year. It's a nice, this will be a nice, beautiful capicollo. Oh. And I guess when we're done these, we're gonna make some salami, some... Yes, I got them, you know, tonight, at that time we are, I got the... I wanna make some super sata, All salami, right. salami. Okay. Yeah. I got some mild, some spicy, because I gotta make everybody happy. Sure. Well, let's, let's, like to try. let's finish these up and then we'll start the salami. Uh, All right, perfect. <laughs> Well, all those capicoles and prosciuttos are ready for the next step. Yeah. When will we come back? Uh, those will we come back about two months and a half. About two months oh, and a half. Two months and a half. All right, we'll touch yeah. base. So well, you'll have a glass of wine ready. We'll come over and see uh, where they are. Yeah, maybe, maybe one glass. Maybe no, one glass of wine. Not too many. Not okay. Too many. So now we're making super This sata. is called super sata. Super okay, sata. Calabrese, Sicilian. It uh, makes uh, meat, but if you look how nice red it is, beautiful. Look, look, look at the red the color yeah. of the meat. 
And there's, I see seasoning in there. What kind of seasoning do we have? So what I got over here, I got a little bit of red wine. That's what I put in, like to give it more like the texture, the flavor. Okay. And then hot pepper, black pepper, but the hot pepper a little more extra in this one because I like a nice spicy. Oh, spicy, okay. And sometimes I make it mild, right. make it mild. Right. If you look, look up beautiful. Look, yeah. Look, look up beautiful yeah. red color. And a fair, yeah. a fair amount of fat. To, yes, there, yeah? yes, because in the salami you need some kind of fat. You don't want to complete it to right. be dry. Right. With the procedure, you put the meat inside and, right. you, keep, and you keep it turning. Okay. You're gonna, okay. Am I turning or you're turning? Yeah, you turn. Yeah, I'm going to turn. You, you turn. Okay. You turn. Right. Okay. You just to keep, keep, put them on. Okay. I have an electric machine about to go too fast. So you got, yeah, keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah. You see? And nice. Got to fill them up nice and tight. So the time you fill them up, you make a little hole, so for the air, got to go out. Yeah, that meat okay. is beautiful. You can smell the spices okay. in there oh. and oh. good mixture of fat. So, so you can stop it right over okay. there for a second because you got to make about the same size. You see this? It's a good size of a piece of salami or suppressata. See? Okay. So will you put these in, in a nylon or anything? No, or no, no, because yeah. it is all of the food, all it's inside. Right. The ingredients, no, no need to these, no, no. The, no these, they put hang it as like is. Oh, and you made the hook to tie it off and hang it with? Here, see? These, Perfect. they are ready yeah, to are hang beautiful. them up yeah. like this. Yeah. Oh, a nice, solid, yeah. nice and beautiful. So we've got, these look fantastic, Sal. The capicoles we did, the prosciuttos. Great to see the procedure. I can't wait for the next two and a half months to come back and give them a taste. So again, we're just gonna hang these downstairs now. Yes. And with, with the pursuit, of, it's all going yes. in your cold room. Yeah. Cold room where the temperature is cold through all of the winter. I'm gonna put a fan on because it's always a ventilation. Right. It's a dry, so the meat much better instead of to be completely too much moisture. Yes. Same thing, two and a half months approximately. Uh, these are maybe a little bit less because it's smaller compared right. to the prosciutto. Okay. So maybe these in a month, a month and a half, right. these are, they are ready to eat. And what's making these cure? Because we didn't put them in salt or vinegar okay, or anything. Okay, okay, okay. So. Uh, I forgot to mention cure salt. Is in here. Okay. Cure salt. So I got the salt like the, the same like the right. capricolo that you in, mix in right this in. meat over here. Okay. And that's what the cure these uh, right. meat over here. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, we got a bunch more to make, so uh, let's get started. And, and we uh, keep on going. All we right. keep on going. So, Sal, thanks for sharing your tips with everybody at home. And I uh, can't wait to come back in two and a half months and see where we're at. No problem. Perfect. No problem. All right. Yeah. And meanwhile, we got some work to do. Okay. All right. One for one uh, and one for all. <laughs> I love you. We are here in Lipari, beautiful weather, very, very nice. I want to say hi to all the crew from Roger TV from London, Ontario, Canada. Uh, look at the beautiful where I am right now. At the time, the Capicolo prosciutti, they are ready in London, Ontario at the Casa Cambria. Here, the chef machine is having a good time in a beautiful weather. Sal! Hi, Jeff. How How's are going, you? Buddy? Good to see you. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back to Canada, my friend. Welcome back. Thank you back. very much. Yeah. Thank you. How was your trip? Oh, lovely. Listen. It's a beautiful place where I go. Um, nice weather, nice food. What's the thing about you? Most of the, all of the suppressata, salami, capicolo, what are we making? But... Uh, I am back, and we're going to try it together. I was going to break in and go check it, but I couldn't find a way in the house, so no, let's go no. check it out right now. No, we can check them in. All right. Come, come on in. Let's come go in. see. Let's good go. stuff. Good let's stuff. Go. So how it. do we know it's ready to go? How do we know? They've been uh, down here okay. for quite some time. Just to the feeling, is it right. still this is a little soft. Right. Okay. This is a little bit soft. This is nice. This is the ones that we did, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. firm. Oh, That's big, ready big to eat. difference. This is the same thing? Uh, yeah. it's, uh, this is a beef. This yeah. one is a pork. But the capicolo, nice. Nice, firm. Yeah. Ready to eat. Okay. So we're going to bring these upstairs. Yes. And there's another step to the process. We've done a few things so far, but we have to bring these upstairs and we're going to clean them up or something. Yes. So we clean them up, but we get them ready and ready to slice them up. And we enjoy all together. All right. With all of my good friend, everybody else. I'm getting hungry standing here, so let's go upstairs. Let's, let's go get upstairs. This, let's get, take a closer look at this. All right, Sal, so we brought this up from the cellar downstairs. We got a few of those. Uh, yeah. I remember putting this 
you know, we seasoned it up, yes, we sir. packaged it up, we hung it downstairs. How long has it been downstairs? Right? Uh, three months. Three months. Uh, three months. Okay, so what, what are we going to do next? So what do we do from this one here? We take off the neck and we take off a kind of, I, I'll show you very, very quickly. And you can tell just by the feel. The feel out firm. that's firm. really firm. That's yes. really firm. It, it's yeah. a kind of, after a while, you know what, what you got to do. Uh, just to see what happened, because we put it in. Kind of, it's a, a nylon, so to hold all of the spices right. together. But okay. we don't want that seasoning on there, no, right? We're no, gonna... we don't want this. Right. But to see, look, look at this. I got this one already, like up at the net. A beautiful. Now I'm going to show you how to clean them up. Okay. okay. So by yeah. cleaning it up, you're talking about you want to peel that outer layer. Take off most the spice because it will be too spicy if you leave all of these outside, you know, on. I know it's a beautiful color. Like this, this yeah. is a this is fantastic look, look, right here. Look, look yeah. at the color yeah. there. Mar oh, beautiful my. marbling. Oh, that color is amazing. Oh my gosh! Look. Oh, okay. Okay. Here it is. See. Look. After I clean them up, see. Look, Jeff. So you know, it's not an exact thing, right? If we have a little but, bit of spice, but we're, that's we're okay. why I yeah. leave a little bit of spice over here. So when you slice them up, still you get a little flavor, right. the edge of the capicola. And will this color be consistent right through? Yes, that's all, all the way through. Yeah. All the way through. Okay. Oh my Good. gosh. Oh. So the next step on this is we're going to slice it out. We slice them up yeah. this. Yeah. We slice them up some prosciutto, uh, some salami. We're going to make a well, nice. Let's uh, grab that okay. prosciutto and bring it up here and see all what right. it looks like. All right. <laughs> We're going to put together this awesome charcuterie board. Before we put the meat on, I'm guessing you made up all this because you make everything. I make these uh, hot paper, sweet paper, uh, black olive. These are beautiful black olive. These they are green olive. I make all of this. And this is a ricotta special prepared by me. We've been now, working on these cold cuts for a few months. A so, few months. Yeah. And now it's the time to enjoy. All right, let's slice okay, them Okay, let's go. Look at this. Just a, what, what I want to show about the uh, salami. How beautiful it is. Look, if you look at the piece of the salami, nice. Oh. And it's very, very firm, but when you're when you're chewing on it, it has a nice toothiness to it, but it's not, it's not. No tough. hard, it's no, not it's a nice yeah. and moist. It feels yeah. nice and good when, yeah. You, yeah. when you eat. And to, oh. be, to be sure, I'm going to double check. Uh, no, 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 no. You can yeah. have two. Only oh. three you can take. Only four? Oh. Okay. No three, more four. than five. No, no more than five. Okay. Absolutely right. six is the limit. Okay. So this is all of the salami. Now we can make a, the capicola. All right. Oh, Here we start with the that. capicola. Oh, the the difference between those two. See, look at the yeah. difference yeah. between the capicola. Yeah. Now we're going to go, the one I'm anxious to we're gonna go with the prosciutto. This. It's a beautiful, nice piece of prosciutto. Look at the prosciutto, a nice lean meat. Look at the capicolo with the beautiful marble vein in the middle. I love you all. Let's call up our friends and family. I see you got the table set with some wine. Let's sit down and enjoy this beautiful food. We will. Sal, what can I say? It's been a several months since we started this journey the first time we filmed here we had these cured meats and i was so amazed i thought we have to do an episode just on curing meats with sal yeah. it's been a few months you've spent most of the time in italy i'm a little bit jealous about that what can i do sorry for your luck but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but now we're going to sit down with friends and family and enjoy all this great food you have in front of us a lot of homemade stuff including the homemade wine so my friend, thanks for inviting us into your house. Thanks for sharing all your recipes and secrets. And thanks for sharing this meal tonight with us. Right. Yeah, I'd love to, Let's dig to in. do it together with you and all of my friends. Salute. Salute. Thank you very much. Salute. Salute. And I love you all. Salute. All for one and one for all. And one for all. To Sal. Ciao, Sal.